This is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm in Henrico County. More specifically, I'm in Shore Pump, and today we're going to take a look at a three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath condo. And as you look around, you may be saying to yourself, wait a minute, Max, this looks like a regular single-family neighborhood. And you are correct. Uh, however, these homes look like single-family detached homes, but they actually identify as condos. And uh, there's a little known fact in real estate is that you cannot look at a property necessarily and tell the legal structure. Um, what most people think of condos, they think of a certain type of dwelling, a uh, unit that has multiple uh, units within that structure uh, that are very similar to apartments. And that is true 99% of the time. I've done over 1,200 videos, and I think this is probably the second time that I have covered a detached condo. And the thought process that the developers went through is that there are some consumers in the marketplace that don't want to take care of maintenance. They don't want to take care of grass. They just want to come home, uh, enjoy their home, and have someone else uh, or an association take care of all of the exterior maintenance and grounds work. And that's exactly what happens here. For about $300 a month, you don't have to worry about anything on the exterior. And uh, that is a beautiful thing for a lot of buyers. The other thing that's a little different here is you can see our lots are pretty conservative. And a lot of buyers love that idea. They don't need a quarter acre, a half acre, or a full acre. They just want to have detached living. And so we see this a lot in Northern Virginia or other metropolitan areas where the land cost is very high. You can see we've got a craftsman style here in the neighborhood. I remember when this neighborhood was being built. Uh, it's built by Eagle Construction. Eagle has a great reputation here locally for higher end homes. If you remember just a few weeks ago where I covered the $1.8 million home, that was Eagle Construction. And uh, I can tell my viewers really like the product that they produce. This home is in excellent condition. Special thanks to Eric Lynn in my office who was kind enough to allow us to come in, take a look at his beautiful listing. Uh, you can see here on the front, we've got a two car garage. Nice porch here on the front. If you want to put a few rocking chairs out, it's a great place to do so. Sit out and enjoy a nice, comfortable spring day. We've got really good temperatures here today. Nice and bright. And I'm really looking forward to the break in weather. All right, let's go on in and take a look at this beauty. One of the first things I noticed is this door. This is a nice heavy door. It's got a good weight to it and it just initially makes a good impression coming in. You're not dealing with uh, flimsy materials by any stretch. And look at the height. We've got a really nice tall first floor level here. Uh, one of the things that you are going to see is a higher level of trim than we often see in homes. We do have crown molding here throughout, uh, wood floors extensively here in this beautiful home. And they are in an amazing condition. One of the other things I love about this home is we've got a nice wide entry here. This is approximately seven feet going into the home. So it just gives you a lot of good volume. I know a lot of my buyers love to see formal spaces and you have that here uh, it's still somewhat open but we've got great detail there not only in the crown molding but also in the chair rail uh, good natural light flows in to the side of the home there and this is plenty of space even for the largest of dining room tables as we progress here to the right this is going to be our entry into our utility room the utility room does have a sink in place and we've got washer and dryer that do convey. Got a little additional storage overhead. And then we have a storage closet here. This is our electronics closet here with the homes uh, in this age. We're starting to see a lot of good uh, infrastructure as far as wiring. So I'm going to point that out to you as we go through. We've got some things that are already done as far as pre-wires that you don't have to worry about. And uh, just makes life that much easier. Okay, we are now, of course, in our two-car attached garage we do have an opener in place and we also have a nice high efficiency gas fired tankless water heater and that is a Renai system uh, we will never ever run out of hot water as a result and that's a very efficient way 
to heat your water. All right, let's go back inside and see what else we have in store in this beautiful home. This is an amazing location as far as convenience. Uh, I live near this home and I just am always happy that everything I need is within just a few minutes drive. Um, actually, if you are the type of person that likes to walk or ride a bike, this is a very convenient location as well. There are plenty of people that walk to the store, that bike to major retail. Uh, that is all very easy at this location. Of course, a coat closet right here. And now we're transitioning into our family room area. But before we go there, this home is wired for an alarm system. We also have two zone heating and air, which is very helpful when we have a home with this configuration. All right, look at this gorgeous kitchen, ladies and gentlemen. I just absolutely love what they did here with this beautiful granite. We've got the five burner gas stove. And in addition, we've got this really nice gray subway tile. It's a glass subway tile. Uh, and below the stainless range hood, uh, it just makes a really nice presentation. These are gonna be 42 inch cabinets. On the opposite side is gonna be a nice long island. Uh, we've got enough space here on this island to seat probably a good, uh, you can get half the neighborhood at this island. Uh, we do have a microwave in place. Now, they put the microwave here because of the placement of our range hood. So instead of putting it on a countertop, uh, that was a great place to go ahead and place it. So very smart design. We've got a nice deep double bowl sink and two pendants here over the island. Directly ahead is our Samsung stainless fridge. We've got countertop on either side. And then to the left is going to be our um, butler's pantry. This is a great place if you're entertaining. You can put your adult beverages or hors d'oeuvres. Um, there's another word that they're using here lately. I can't even remember what it is, but it's where you do the crackers and the cheese and the fruit and uh, char charducherry. I, I don't know. Somebody put that name down there for me. I can't remember what it is. It's just good stuff. I just know it tastes good. Uh, that's where you can prepare uh, all of your yummy snacks if you are entertaining. And of course, we are directly open here to the dining room. So it just really flows nicely. You can uh, seamlessly go from the kitchen uh, through this passage to the dining room. Okay, we are now in our family room. We've got a light fixture here. The thought process is this would be for your informal dining table would go. And then of course you'd be open here to the rest of this nice big family room. This family room does feature recessed lights. We do have crown molding in place here as well. And that door directly ahead is going to be to our first floor primary bedroom. So this home is first floor living. You can do everything you need to do on the first floor here and not have to go up steps if you didn't want to. All right, let's take a look here at our backyard space. We've got patio area here and just enough space. If you have uh, Fido and uh, they want to come out and, and run around a little bit, just enough space for them to do that. Of course, you could put a table here, enjoy some fresh air here on the back. And of course, we're fenced as well. I believe this is a hardy plank type material uh, that's in place. And let's go back inside and see what else we have in store here on the first floor. Love the wood. The wood looks absolutely amazing here uh, in this beautiful home. All right, we are now in our primary bedroom and this is a really good size bedroom. One of the tricks that we can do when we have a vacant house, if you look very carefully, you will see the outline there and the indentations where the feet were for the bed. And so I can look at this quickly and tell that that was a queen size bed and it gives me a good idea of the spacing on either side for uh, nightstands. And it helps you visualize exactly what the layout would look like in a room like this. Okay, let's go now to our closet area. We do have dual closets and they are of equal size, really good size walk-in closets. You can definitely get a lot of clothes in there. And then we have another one on this side. Actually, I think this one might be just a touch smaller, but it is still a really good size closet. And 
To the right is our ensuite. Here in the ensuite, we come in and we have a linen closet right there. Nice big double vanity. And this is actually a nice adult height. This actually comes up um, actually almost to the waist. So I like that. Um, if you're the type of person that doesn't like to have to bend over to, uh, to use the sink, um, that's a really nice feature. And of course, our stand-up shower, we've got tile there and the glass enclosure and our nice deep soaking tub. This is a really deep one and I really like that. If you have sore, achy muscles or uh, ladies, if you need to do some self-care, you can uh, put some candles here around the edge and uh, throw a bath bomb or two in there and uh, just really take yourself to another place. And here in the corner there is our toilet. Nice big mirror there and uh, there's really good volume here. Once again, we've got these nice tall ceilings in this space. All right, we've got more. Let's go up to the second level and see what we have in store up there. Whoops, I'm about to go into the closet. And we're gonna make a left here. Notice these beautiful wood steps. We've got stained wood all the way up and I really love the finishes. This is a clean palette. So all of these walls are neutral. The carpet is neutral. Uh, you could just simply move in and if you chose to paint, uh, go with your own taste. This is gonna be bedroom number two. You could definitely get a king size bed in here. There are no tiny bedrooms in this home whatsoever. We've got a nice big closet. So this room could either double as a office or a guest room or playroom. Uh, there's just so many options and you've got this massive space here for storage. And it goes all the way back. That's going to be a York heat pump that's in place. Going to provide the heating and cooling here for this energy efficient home. I'm going to take you back out and we're going to go directly across the hall. We do have an opening here so you can actually look down there to the first level. And this is going to be our upstairs bath. We do have a nice size vanity there, fiberglass tub shower enclosure. Here to the left is a linen closet. And then I'm going to take you now to the left again, and this is going to be bedroom number three. All right, we can tell this one's a little bit darker because of where our sun is hitting, but it's still a very bright room. And we've got the oversized closet once again here in this space. All right, this is a gorgeous home. Uh, excellent choice for somebody that wants a low maintenance lifestyle in an amazing location and uh, it is ready to go in like new condition. And um, I'm really impressed as a result. Max Williams, 804-402-7788. I can be reached on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about this beauty. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Y'all be safe. Have a great day.